It's been about eight years I've been throwing pots. It goes way back into my late 20s when I was working too hard and needed a break and a friend said, why don't you come over to Meredith College? This is in Raleigh, North Carolina. And I said, what you doing over there? He says, well, they got an evening pottery class for people for the community and I really like it, think you would too. And I took a few classes and really loved it. Um, but then we moved way out in the country on a farm with animals and no time and stopped it. Then we moved to Greenville, North Carolina and they have a public arts and civic arts center there and had classes and I started taking them, stayed with it and got proficient, sold some pots which said to me, hmm, could be a future in this. Right over here in the next room is my potter's wheel and um, I get to sit in, on that apple crate in front of the window looking at the little river and that wheel's going around like that. And all I'm required to do for the next couple hours is to sit there, take that clay, center it, bring the pot up, collar it if I'm gonna make a picture looking like this, widen it out, and that's all I wanna do. I knew the farmer's market, and I'd been over there a lot, liked to shop there, and once a year across the street, they have an arts fair. And they invited me for a couple years and I brought my wheel. I'm one of the few people that's got a portable wheel. So I bring my wheel and I throw pots and somebody from across the street, the farmer's market said, whoa, we'd like to have that. I see it as a community exchange because you have this confluence of people who want to buy tomato plants, uh, uh, some food, some baked goods, to uh, pottery, to, to some great wood bowls and they get to talk with the people that are there. And there's this great interchange of information. I mean, just because I grow tomatoes doesn't mean I know everything. And so I'm watching steady customers return and return and return, exchanging how it went out there in their own gardens or how that wooden bowl fit on the dining room table. I'd say a third of the people that buy my pots are coming into Blacksburg as tourists and they want to take some home. Another third would be people either in Blacksburg or tourists buying for weddings, birthdays, Father's Days, Mother's Day. Then the other third, uh, st I get students are buying stuff, uh, just regular folks that live in Blacksburg that broke a bowl and need a new bowl. And they know where to come because I'm there on Saturdays and I have a notebook, I take exact dimensions, what they're thinking they want, whether it's a coffee cup, three finger or two finger, make it. You know, within the month, it's in their hands back home. I've, I've withdrawn all my pots from commercial galleries. What I want to do with my pottery is to put it where there's kind of a non-profit or a community dimension to it. That I want, like, like with my experience at Blacksburg Farmers Market, I want to have that pot, or even if I'm not there, to be part of a community. It's, it's a great asset for Blacksburg. I mean, it is, it's, I just wish every, every locality had, had one. It's really cool.